You might think Valentine's Day is for couples, but Cosmo says you don't have to be in a relationship to enjoy this love fest. Why not throw a Valentine's Day wine tasting party? Why not? <laughs> How do you put together a wine tasting party? Well, wine tasting parties are really easy and they're usually really popular because what I'm finding is a lot of women love to drink wine. It's so easy to drink. So there are a few tips, you know. One is invite your friends. Secondly, try to pick something like a region or a varietal that everyone really likes to kind of use it as a theme for the night and that you can use it as a sort of a blind wine tasting so you can serve your wine so that nobody knows what they're drinking. Or, you know, you can bring it all out, open up all your wine and share all the bottles as you go along. When it comes to throwing a party and decor, decor at a wine tasting party, I never know, like, what do you put in your place? <laughs> wine. Wine. Very wine, important. Wine. Okay. Really fun glassware is always good too. Food and water. I mean, and then you put good friends along in there and you're, you're set for a really good party that way. Sounds like it's, yeah. it's pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to taste wine. I am always ready to taste wine. Are you ready wine. to show me? Absolutely. Okay, great. Let's do it. <laughs> what do you drink with appetizers? I always like to start off with a sparkling wine. And uh, we've got a Jacob's Creek sparkling here and a Yellowtail Rosé sparkling. The nice thing about sparkling wine is it goes very well with all different types of cheese. So it's a really easy, easy to serve and um, and it goes very well with cheese. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Surprise! Starting off your evening with something light, fresh, and just, you know, sparkling on your palate is a great way to welcome guests into your house and to sort of very, create a nice, welcome, open, conversational environment. All right, well, so, cheers to that. Cheers. When you're looking at your main course, there's lots of different wines you can match with your main course, but uh, you know, Rieslings go very nicely with a lot of different levels of, of food from acidity levels. Pinot Noir is a really nice light kind of red wine that matches well with salmon. And then you can, you can, you know, like you enjoy Shiraz, a great thing with Shiraz is some beef, um, pork tenderloin, you can, you know, done with some red wine jus. Does wine go well with dessert? Yes. Chocolate, red wine, a great match. So we have a Cabernet Sauvignon here. And the nice thing about red wine, um, especially some big red wines from Australia, decanting is a really great way to help open up your red wine, give it some oxygen. It also makes you look really wine savvy when you're entertaining because you're just talking and you're pouring wine and it looks great, right? So it's a good way to kind of, you know, impress your guests. So to the Cosmo girl who might be a little scared of throwing her wine party, what do you have to say to her? Don't be fearful. Throw a wine party. Even even if you don't do everything right, I mean the glory of a party is that you threw a party and you had friends there that celebrated with you, you had some good food, you had a good time. Maybe people won't even remember it, but you know, <laughs> as long as they get home safe, that's all that matters. I will cheers to that and if you're looking for any more information, you can check out iyellowwineclub.com.